Welcome back to another episode of Jailbreak Overlander. I'm Richie, and this is Jailbreak. It's February. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and once again, I'm in the forest. I've got two goals in mind. First of all, I'm testing out the Mystery Ranch 32 liter Scree Day Pack. But I'm also keeping an eye and an ear out for the Great Horned Owl. The backpack I've been testing for about a month now for fit, comfortability, how well it carries gear and how well it rides on your back. I'm 5'11 and 235 pounds. So I put these things through their paces and I spend a lot of time off the trail. I'm in the thorns, I'm in the trees, I do a lot of running, climbing. I want to see how this backpack performs in all situations. But I'm also really trying to find the Great Horned Owl. I had heard its call previously and I was determined to locate it and get it on film. So come with me and check this out. I'm in Massachusetts. There's no driving the vehicle into the woods. So to find the great horned owl, I had to backpack, which was fine with me. It gave me the ability to test out the backpack properly and see some pretty spectacular views. And believe it or not, for a big guy, I'm really quiet on my feet, especially in the woods. And I kept jumping deer over and over. The sun was setting and I needed to get to the spot where I had last heard the great horned owl give its call. So I stopped and listened. I took advantage of this time to get the backpack squared away so I could easily get at the camera. I had about 30 pounds worth of gear in this backpack, which is technically a day pack. This is everything that I was carrying, not including the camera that I'm videotaping with. Now keep that in mind. That's a lot of gear, but the Mystery Ranch carried it very well. I knew I'd run across you and your friends. I can see you. It's funny that I'm looking for owls and I can't stop finding deer, but eventually I got back to the spot again. And I was rewarded for my perseverance. The cold ground made every footstep that much louder. I needed to creep in here without disturbing him or making him fly away. There had to be a way to do it. As quietly as I possibly could, I crept closer and closer. All the while, the sun was setting more and more. I was so desperate to get this bird on film. It seemed the more I searched and the closer I possibly got, 
the quieter the owl became. The sun was setting rapidly, and I was running out of daylight. I searched everywhere, and he would no longer give his call. Finally, the moon started coming up, and it was time to get out of the woods. Massachusetts does not allow you in the forest after nightfall, period. So I returned the same time, same place, the next day. I did the hike all over again, brought the same gear with me, except today it was noticeably colder, as evident by my constantly running nose. I hiked back in, again, same backpack, same area, looking for the same bird. I was in the right area, except he wasn't giving his call this time. I searched the same locations that I had had such good luck the night before and the days before that. It was cold, but I was determined to videotape this bird. I set myself up in the exact location that I had heard the bird giving its call so many times before, and I scanned the treetops. And finally, I spotted it. So instantly, I started warming up my camera. I'm warming up my Nikon, I hope. And just as I feared, as soon as I focused the camera on him, the camera was malfunctioning due to the cold weather. I couldn't believe it. I finally find the great horned owl and my camera won't record properly. I don't know how many times this owl looked directly at me. Amazing footage and my Nikon wouldn't catch it all. I could only record in 20 second segments. I tried everything like warming the camera up once again but to no avail. It was too cold and I could only get 20 second segments. There's a squirrel right in front of her. Or him. It was killing me. Several, I think five days I spent trying to locate this owl. I finally find it and my camera won't record. Unbelievable. Nikon P1000. I'm going to try again with my Canon EOS R and see if my luck is any better. It was so frustrating to have this bird in sight. I have the ultimate camera for videotaping something like this and the camera will not record. It was amazing. I'm relatively new at this entire bird of prey videotaping thing. But literally, I had the equipment, but the temperature, the weather wouldn't cooperate. I'm recording off my viewfinder with a Sony 3000R. At any rate, I will get footage of this bird and I will be traveling down south this week, so hopefully more footage is coming. So stay tuned and bear with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below and I'll return the favor. I am out.